Do you guys see all that right over here? It's actually like all over. It is so tarnished. Hey guys, it's your girl Lizzie and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you guys can read in the title, I am going to be doing a video of me cleaning my Pandora jewelry again. I do have another cleaning video that I did like maybe two years ago. I think it's been, it's been a while now. And you guys killed that video. When I mean killed, I mean you guys killed it. I have over 100, 111K views on that video. It's my most watched video here on YouTube and I wanna bring you guys a new one. So I was debating, should I do a cleaning video with some new products? Like you guys were giving me ideas on how you guys clean your jewelry with some toothpaste and a toothbrush and some of you guys use, somebody said bleach. I'm not gonna use bleach, but somebody said bleach. Someone said baking soda. You guys like gave me a lot of different ideas. But I'm going to stick to how I clean it, which is probably the most simple and easy way to clean your Pandora jewelry. I just use some warm water and soap. And then I just polish it down with a polishing cloth. So I've been debating for a few days now to clean my jewelry because my jewelry is disgusting it is so tarnished and it smells so bad like it smells really bad and because you guys like these little you know cleaning videos i was like you know what i'm just gonna do a little sit down of me cleaning my jewelry again here on youtube for you guys but before we jump into this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel right now because i am on a road to 3,000 subscribers so hit that subscribe button right now and if you're back to watch another video welcome back to my channel so i just realized i don't have a toothbrush <clears throat> so i do have the pandora actual jewelry care kit i'm not going to use it today but i need a brush and i don't know where my toothbrush went so i'm just gonna take the brush from in here actually never mind i forgot how tiny it was i'll be right back i'm gonna go get a toothbrush so i did grab a toothbrush a lot bigger than what was in that box i honestly forgot how tiny that brush was which is the reason i don't use it anymore so let me show you guys my jewelry i have not worn it in months and it is so tarnished and disgusting and it just it smells so bad it actually smells really bad so here we have my essence open bangle bracelet like look at that do you guys see all that right over here it's actually like all over it is so tarnished and then i have my snake chain bracelet right over here it's not that bad but it smells disgusting it smells so bad i have my boyfriend's sister's snake chain bracelet which is also very tarnished as well as you guys can see we let that focus it is pretty tarnished too and then i have my bangle bracelet with my rings on it it's just so gross and i just want to you know get it clean I want to start wearing my bracelet again. I stopped wearing it. Don't know why. I just stopped wearing my bracelets. And I want to start getting into my bracelets, my rings, my jewelry. Because I have so much jewelry and I don't wear anything. I only wear this necklace that my boyfriend got me for Christmas this year. And that's all I wear. So talking about that, if you guys want to see a video of all my jewelry, then let me know in the comments and I'll do a video on that. But we are just going to clean these bad boys over here. I'm going to get into every single crescent crease on these bracelets because we are going to make them shine again so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to let them sit in a bowl of warm water i have my bowl right over here i don't know if you guys can see my water kind of yeah i'm just gonna let it sit in there it is not like hot boiling water and it's not cold water it's more warm think of like the water you would shower in when you want to get home from work you just want to you know go in the shower and be nice and warm and just you know just feel good that's how the water feels right now so i'm just gonna let them sit in here so here's the bowl again we're gonna just throw them right in and we're gonna leave them in there for about like two minutes all right, so it's been about two minutes that I let it just soak and sit in the water. Now I'm gonna add some dish soap. So again, here's the bowl. We're gonna use Dawn 
dish soap. This is the only soap I've ever used for my Pandora jewelry. So I would recommend Dawn soap only because it's more like subtle and soft and it won't damage the jewelry. I would honestly use anything that doesn't have any harsh chemicals. So we're just gonna throw some of this into the water. So I'm gonna do like two little squeezes of the bottle. So we got one, right? And then we got two. That was a big one. So I'm going to use my toothbrush to mix it. Okay, I know you guys can't see, so let me show you guys how it looks. So it is right over there, as you guys can see. And we're going to let it sit. I think I'm gonna let it sit for maybe five minutes because I want all like the debris and dirt and anything that's gross on the bracelets to come out on its own. But once we start polishing it down with the polishing cloth, it's gonna come out super shiny, sparkly. It's gonna look like it's brand new. This is the only polishing cloth that I use for my Pandora jewelry. I don't even use the cloth that they give you at the store because the ones they give you at the store is like some tiny ass cloth. Instead of explaining it, let me just show you guys because I actually have the cloth. The Pandora cloth and then the cloth you get from Amazon. Like look at that difference. I'll put it in my description box on this video so you guys can buy it yourself. I'm telling you guys it's the best polishing cloth I've ever used. So it's been about five minutes now and I let those bracelets and rings and charms sit. So what I'm going to do now, I just dropped water all over the table. I have some napkins over here. I'm going to use that to dry the jewelry down so we can begin the polishing process. So there are four bracelets in here. One of them has charms on the whole bracelet. So we're gonna do that bracelet last because we want that one to sit longer in the water so we can get it nice and clean. I'm gonna start with my Essence Open Bangle bracelet, which is right over here. As you guys can see, it is still pretty tarnished. I'm just going to dry it right up. And then with the polishing cloth, whoa, let me show you guys this. So as I was wiping it down, look at all that tarnish. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. It already came off with the warm water and soap. That's why I think it's really good if you guys put it in the water and let it soak a little bit. So that's before we polish it down. And now we're going to begin the polishing process. So I'm just going to use the white cloth in the bracelet and we're just going to begin to polish. It's already starting to look really, really shiny. It's so satisfying when you clean anything really. So I did get all that tarnish off. Look at that guys. Tell me that does not look like, I can't even let it sit properly. But tell me that does not look like a brand new bracelet. Look how shiny that is. So since I just finished polishing that down, I'm going to throw it back in that lukewarm and soapy water. A lot of you guys were telling me in the last video, why do you throw it in to the dirty water again? You know what guys? I wasn't thinking last time, okay? That was like my third or fourth video on YouTube and I was scared and nervous and I didn't know what I was doing and YouTube at that time made me very nervous and I don't know why I did that, okay? So don't judge me and don't come at me. It was my jewelry anyways, it's not like it was someone else's. But we learned, okay? You guys taught me, you guys, you guys showed me the right path to take and I appreciate that. But again, I'm throwing it back into that soapy water only because I wanted to get more shiny and clean. When I'm done all the jewelry, I'm going to clean it and rinse it off with some clean water. Okay guys? Okay? Okay. But let me just show you guys how that bracelet that I just cleaned looks compared to the other bracelets. So this is the bracelet we just cleaned right over here. Look how shiny that is compared to those bracelets. Like you guys cannot tell me that is not clean and nice. Also, there's so much like dirt in here from the bracelets as you guys can see all that stuff floating. Look how clean that is. That is so clean. So now I'm going to take my boyfriend sister's snake chain bracelet. That is going to be this one right over here. But we're just going to pat that down and dry it up. This one I'm not going to take the charm off because it's just one charm and we can get around it with the polishing cloth. So that shouldn't be an issue but we're gonna open it right up and begin to polish this down with the snake chain bracelet try to not 
pull on it when you're cleaning it because I've seen bracelets like unravel when I worked at Pandora a lot of bracelets would like unravel or like bend weirdly and get stuck in a weird shape so I polished this part right over here just over here this is the part that I didn't polish I don't know if you guys can see a difference yeah you guys can you guys can definitely see that difference look how dark it is over here and look how shiny it is right over there so we're just going to scrub this down also a lot of people were asking me questions about working at Pandora to be honest it was a pretty good job I'm not gonna lie really good discount very very good discount my discount was 40% off some stores had 70% off if I had a chance to go back to Pandora I probably would but there isn't any Pandora stores close to where I live but I would definitely go back as like a part-time job or something try to get this charm clean so that one is done I'm gonna throw that back into the water so we can let it rinse a little bit but let me show you guys again let me just show you guys again how it looks how clean they look also my fingers are getting very dirty but let me just show you guys you're telling me you can't see this one and this one over here look how shiny they are and then look at these disgusting just a little bit of polishing and a little bit of cleaning is going to clean these bracelets and this is something you guys can do in like 10 15 minutes at home i'm just drying this bracelet now with my rings on it so i'm just gonna dry that right now this is so gross it's so gross but so satisfying because like look how the tarnish just comes right off just took all these rings off this bracelet because i'm gonna polish this down by itself and then i'm gonna polish down all the rings on their own so here is this bracelet this bracelet is actually not as dirty as it was when it went into the water the water and the soap took out a lot of the tarnish from it so it's actually pretty clean and my favorite thing about the bangles are the bangles are so so easy to clean compared to the snake chains because the snake chain ones are there's just so much like little spots you have to get into but there is that bracelet right over here look how clean it is and shiny we're gonna put it back in the water so it's soaked and then i'm just going to polish down all my rings so i'm just gonna grab each ring and polish them right down what i like to do with the toothbrush is if there's any like i don't know if you guys can see so there are stones there they're on this side but this is what the inside looks like there's like little holes and i like to use the toothbrush to clean right inside there so we can get the stones looking nice and shiny so i like to just brush right inside of the stones just to get all that debris and dirt out so there is one ring we're gonna throw that in the water i'm gonna grab another one this one's a little bit more easier to clean because this one doesn't have any like sterling silver that's solid cubic zirconia is going all around i really like that so that one is polished down I'm gonna throw that in the water again we have this little princess crown ring again polish it down so i'm just rubbing it through this whole cloth look how shiny those stones are whoa shiny i really love seeing when the stones go from being not shiny to shiny call me weird this one is almost like that other one it's like a stackable ring so we're gonna again polish this down it's so like therapeutic is that the right word when i clean my jewelry it's just feels so good then we have this ring right over here this ring used to be called the cloud ring but pandora changed like all of their names for their jewelry it's so weird i'm not sure why they changed the names to like everything but there is that one right over here we have this ring with a whole bunch of hearts going all around let's let that focus there we go so we're just cleaning that right down this one i don't really have to clean as much because it has like an oxidized finish to it so that's why it's dark this one i got for christmas like two years ago and i haven't worn it anybody else do that stuff where they just buy things and then they never wear it but like i said i want to get back into wearing my jewelry so this is one of the reasons we are cleaning all of these pieces look how shiny and then we have this daisy one so pretty look how dirty my hands are from all this tarnish so i'm just gonna scrub this right down cleaning it and look at that shine 
Wow, so clean. All right, so we have all the rings and all the other bracelets except for the one with all the charms left. This one's going to take a little longer to clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the charms off the bracelet. So let me do that right now off camera because because I don't think you guys want to watch me take off charms from a bracelet. It's just going to be boring. So let me take them all right off. And I will be right back to show you guys the rest of the process. So I'll be right back. Okay, my amigos and amigas, we got all the charms off the bracelet. I did lay them right down on the table. So let me show you guys. So they are all right over here. I actually put them in the order that I would wear them on my bracelet. I don't know, there's just a way that I wear my charms. So that is how it looks. I'm going to start off by polishing the bracelet, then the safety chain, then the charms. So when I start doing the charms, I can just throw them on the bracelet. So we're going to polish this down. The bracelet isn't that dirty. Even the charms itself, they're not that filthy. Which makes me happy because I thought this was going to take long. I don't wear my jewelry as often, but if I were to wear my jewelry, I would wear just this bracelet. So there is the bracelet. Looks the same because like I said, it wasn't that dirty. The other bracelets don't, they were filthy. But I'm gonna move the camera down in a way so you guys can watch me clean the charms. What I think I'm gonna do is just throw in some music as I polish them down. So let's cue some music and watch me polish down the rest of my charms. Okay guys, so I just finished polishing that bracelet. I am letting it sit for another five minutes in that soapy, dirty water. I know, don't come for me. I'm gonna scrub it down just a little bit. Gonna scrub it a little bit. The rings are pretty clean, so I'm not gonna scrub that down. Once that's done, I'm going to take it back into the washroom and rinse it down with some more warm water and I will show you guys the finished results. So I'm gonna clean up and I will be right back. Okay guys, we're in the washroom now. I was about to dump the water out, but I wanna show you guys how nasty the water looks. So let me turn my light right on and let me just show you guys. It looks, it's so dark and gross. Let me just show you. So there is the bracelets, rings, charms, and look at all of that nasty stuff floating in the water. I just want to share with you guys and show you guys that. Also, just some proof that I'm in the washroom and I'm gonna rinse these down because some of you guys won't believe me. But yeah, let me just rinse this down and show you guys how it looks. So I'm back, I just rinse them all down. Tell me this does not look super clean. Look at those bracelets and charms. They look like they're brand new. But that is my little therapeutic cleaning video. I can't get over how shiny and clean they look they look so good right now very happy with the results very happy but like i said if you guys are looking for a polishing cloth for your jewelry i highly recommend the one that i got from amazon i put it away but let me show you guys one more time this one right over here Haggerty jewelry polishing cloth 100% recommend it so i will put that in the description box down below if you guys want to grab one yourself and you guys just want to clean your jewelry at home let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me clean my jewelry with any other type of items i really wanted to try the toothpaste a lot of you guys were saying toothpaste i should probably give that a try 
but we are definitely going to stay away from bleach some of you guys were saying bleach we are not going to do bleach that's just going to ruin the jewelry but let me know in the comments i am open to try some new ideas but anywho guys if you guys did enjoy my little cleaning video please give this video a huge thumbs up i am on the road to 3,000 subscribers and i want to hit that by the end of 2023 so help me reach my goal and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys